Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel. And I am now answering question number four from the October 2021 International A-Level Pure Mathematics P2 paper. This question here is about the factor and remainder theorems. It says, state the value of the remainder when f of x is divided by 2x minus 3. Okay, now, this question is very important that you read it and consider it carefully because many students would be tempted to, for example, expand the brackets and simplify and then uh, maybe even use long division and then find the remainder. Yet the question is only worth one mark and it mentions a word that's very important for us when we read questions you should take note. It says state. It says state or write down. It means there's no calculation involved as a number of marks suggest. So what you've got to look at, it, you've got to think carefully that, okay, hold on, I've got to divide this by 2x minus 3. There's a 2x minus 3 in this, right, in this um, expression. So if you divide it by 2x minus 3, basically you would be substituting 3 over 2 into the expression. That's the equivalent of dividing by 2x minus 3, as we know from the remainder theorem. Okay, so if you divide by 2x minus 3, you substitute instead of x, whatever makes this bracket 0. And 2x minus 3 becomes 0 when x equals 3 over 2. Now, if we did, ex if we did substitute x equals 3 over 2 into here, then this bracket is going to become 0, as we just stated now. Right? This is going to become 0, so you'll have 0 times x squared minus 2, which is 0. So you're left with the remainder being negative 21. So you just have to look at that, see that the bracket, one of the brackets is the same as what you're dividing by, meaning that whole thing is going to, that's going to cause these brackets to become zero. Because you're going to substitute whatever makes this bracket zero into here. So therefore, what's left over here will be the remainder. So the remainder is negative 21. Simple as that. You don't have to show any steps um, in fact, showing steps shows that you don't understand the question. You can just write down the answer as minus 21. Right? No need for us to you know, expand and then do, do the factor theorem. And, you know, for example, somebody might, somebody might replace x with 3 over 2, and then they find the answer is going to be minus 21. You should be able to see that straight away. Okay, <clears throat> now for part B, it says use the factor theorem that, to show that x minus 3 is a factor of f of x. Now here what we're going to do, again x minus 3 equals 0 when x equals 3. So we're going to put 3 inside this function, and we're going to show that it equals 0. Okay, so let's see what happens when you put 3 inside this function. You're going to have um, 9 minus 2 in that bracket, and 2 times 3, which is 6, minus 3 in that bracket, and minus 21. That gives you 7 times 3 minus 21, which is... 21 minus 21, which is equal to 0. So you say, as f3 is equal to 0, therefore, x minus 3 is a factor of fx. You must put this statement to qualify what you're trying to prove. You don't leave it at this, equals 0. You don't just show that f3 equals 0. You state that you know. As f3 equals 0, that means x minus 3 is a factor of f of x. Very important for you to show that little step. Okay. So then the next part of the question, part C, says, hence, factorize f of x. So we know that x minus 3 is a factor. So we know x minus 3 is a factor from the previous question. So hence, factorize f of x. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, now this is where you can use um, long division. That's one method you could use to simplify this. So now I'm going to take f of x. I'm going to rewrite it in a form which I can then use long division to um, factorize or to um, simplify it or to, to use uh, <coughs> in order to find the other factors, sorry. So let's expand this. You're going to have so we start off with x squared minus 2 times 2x minus 3 minus 21. And if you expand this bracket, you're going to get 2x cubed minus 3x squared. You're going to get minus 4x and plus 6 and then minus 21. OK, 
Okay, so this gives us 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x and minus, two, minus 6 plus 21 is minus 15. Just to make sure, 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x plus 6. Yep. Okay, so now that's what f of x is equal to. So now I'm going to use, there's two methods we could use actually, but I'll use long division. You have x minus 3 divided into this. Now we've got to check that nothing's missing. You've got x cubed, x squared, x constant. That's fine. Everything is there. If anything was missing from one of the powers, we would write 0 of that power. For example, if there was no x squared, I'd put 0x squared here. Keep everything in the right place. Now, long division, you ask yourself, how many, how many times does the number fit into this number? x times what gives you 2x cubed? That's 2x squared. Then you multiply these two terms by this. So that's 2x cubed and minus 6x squared. <clears throat> then you subtract. Be careful to subtract these two. That gives you 0. Be very careful with the signs. Negative 3x squared minus minus, which is plus 6x squared, gives you 3x squared. Bring down the next term. Same thing. x into 3x squared. Well, that goes plus 3x times. Then 3x into 3, 3x times x minus 3. 3x squared minus 9x. Again, we've got to subtract. That gives you 0. Minus 4x plus 9x is 5x. Bring down the next term, 15. Then x into 5x goes plus 5 times. Then you've got 5x minus 15. That must always give you 0 in this kind of case. When you know that this is a factor, you must always end up with a 0 at the bottom in the remainder. Because as we saw already, that x minus 3 is a factor. That means it gives a remainder of 0. So this confirms that it's a factor. So we can say that f of x can be expressed now as x minus 3 multiplied by 2x squared plus 3x plus 5. Because if you divide this by x minus 3, then not only is, and you get no, no remainder, not only is x minus 3 a factor, but this is also a factor, what you get. Okay, the quotient is always also a factor. Now, that's factorizing up to a certain point. Then it says, show that the equation f equals zero, fx equals 0 has only one real root. Okay, so f of x equals 0. You're going to have x minus 3 times 2x squared plus 3x plus 5 equals 0. So you have x okay, minus 3 equals 0. So x equals 3. This is one root. Now, how can I show? We have to show that there's only one real root. So we have to show that 2x squared plus x, 3x plus 5, basically um, does not have any solution. So let's see what happens. We've got 2x squared plus 3x plus 5 equals 0. It seems we can't factorize it, of course. If we will be able to, it doesn't have a real root. And you can confirm that by, uh, you know, 2, 2x into, that's 10x. Two numbers multiplied to give you 10x. And they're both positive. Uh, so two, two numbers multiplied to give you 10 they're both positive, and um, they add up to give you 3. Well, there's no numbers like that. So let's see if there is um, you know, uh, any roots to this equation. What will help us determine that is the discriminant. So let's take the discriminant, okay, b squared minus 4ac. Let's see what this, this is. So here, a is equal to 2, b is equal to 3, c is equal to 5, all right, the discriminant helps us to determine how many roots a quadratic has. Now, this is a quadratic, and we're going to see how many roots it has. So we put 3 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 5. Sorry, times 5. Now, that's going to give us 9 minus, that's going to give me 20 times 4, 40, which is negative 31. So we can see that b squared minus 4ac is equal to negative 31. So as b squared minus 4ac, which is the discriminant, is less than 0, therefore, there is no real root. Okay, well, there are no real roots to this equation. There are no real roots, okay, to 2x squared plus 3x 
plus 5 equals 0. Therefore, x equals 3 is the only is the only real root of fx. Okay, so that's you should state something here to show that the discriminant is negative, therefore there's no real roots to this part of the, uh, you know, this factor of the expression. The only part that has a root is where x minus x is x minus three. Okay, that factor part gives you the root x equals three. The other factor gives you no real roots because the discriminant is negative. Okay, so that's the answer to question C. So this was part one. Okay, and this is part two. Well, actually, this is part one. This is part two. This is the end of part one. And this is the start of part two. Okay, so we've now finished this question number four from the October 2021 International Level Paper. Other questions from this paper you can find in this playlist that should appear in this area. Other questions that are involving the factor and the remainder theorem can be found in the playlist that appears in this area. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link that should be in the middle of the page. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.